How you doing guys? I'm Sean, welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's Ramble, today's video is going to be a photo critique. This is the first uh, photo critique that I've done on this channel. And I uh, just want to thank you all for your comments and those you guys who are sending me photographs and links to your portfolio. So I'm going to start off with this. is um, three photographs from Keith Jones. And uh, Keith sent these three photographs over and you're going to have a wee critique of them. Now, guys, as I've said in the previous video when I was talking about these critiques, um, these are just my opinion. And, you know, you can take them and you may get something from them. You may not agree with me. You may agree with me. And that's the way you should be looking at anybody who's looking at your photographs or looking at your work because you're not going to please everybody. But just look at it as a different perspective of your, your work and be open to maybe finding something in it. But don't automatically give your power away to me or anybody else because if you happen to find a photograph is beautiful, it's wonderful, it, it you know ticks all your boxes, yet other people around you don't get it. Um, I would be a believer just not to really care what other people think unless they're paying you money for a commission and you're going to be doing some work for them. But in reality, the way I look at photography, if something pleases me, like, you know, I'm in a loving relationship with a wee girl. And at the end of the day, she'll look at some of my photographs that I happen to think are fantastic, as you do with your own photographs. And she doesn't get them. You know, she'll get other photographs that I may not even get of that I've taken. And I've just come to accept that, you know, you're not going to please everybody. So when you're looking at these photographs here of Keith's or anybody's work, you're, you're entirely off an opinion. Um, but in the same breath, just remember, it's somebody else's work. And if that person likes it, then that really is all that matters, as I say, unless they're being commissioned uh, to, you know, to produce some photographs. So basically, you can have a look at Keith's uh, photograph. Now, basically, Keith is shooting a Nikon D5500, and I think the lens he's got is a 15 to 140 millimeter lens. I'm not too sure what the settings are on this here. So we've set the photographs over, and uh, here we go. Let's have a look and see. So bring us up here in a second. Okay, so first impressions, the first thing that's going to be jumping out at me here is the top uh, left-hand corner up here. Um, I would have liked to probably seen more of the mountain. Now, obviously, we don't know how long, or sorry, how long, I was say how long a piece of string is, or how tall this mountain is. But basically, obviously, you know, it could be going on straight the whole way on up. I would have possibly preferred to see more of the mountain top, um, and I think it would have instantly made the photograph look different. The first thing jumping out also is this crystal clear water, which is um, perfectly exposed there, by the way. Um, so I would say that, you know, Keith, when you were taking that photograph, obviously you wanted to get that landscape in, but you also wanted to emphasize the water. And I think you have done both. But what I would say to you is, is that if you had have maybe dropped down uh, at a lower angle, maybe getting the camera closer to the surface of the water, and tilting it up slightly, you would have been able to incorporate it more um, off that mountain on the left-hand side, and also reducing this flare um, in the centre here. You know what I mean? So, But when you're photographing lakes and mountains and things like that, obviously, if you had, I know it becomes a cliche, but obviously if you had like the, the bridge going into leading the eye into the centre of the lake, or a boat or something on it, it does make that shot more interesting. So it wouldn't really matter where you'd photographed it, but I do think the conversation here could have been changed slightly, um, getting lower to the water level. So therefore you'd still incorporated that crystal clear uh, water into, but tilting your camera upward towards the sky, and that would have got you more of this mountain top in. A um, few are wee things in it. If you look here, that you know, just on the right hand side, I don't know if that's... Um, you know, a, a jetty or something like that. There's um, probably a, a boy there. And, and, you know, I would have heard them out if that was the case. But all in all, um, that bad exposure, I still, you could possibly, if, if, if you were dropping down and including more of the skyline in, very dramatic skyline, uh, and this mountain top, it could possibly have also worked in black and white. But the, the negative I can see in it, um, just a conversation man i would have definitely try to include more of this um, mountain in the top uh, less of this you know the, the lake itself and it would have also reduced down that but looked for something that you could have incorporated into the photograph maybe a boat or leading lines of a pier or a jetty 
you know but you have to work with what you've got uh, but all in all it's a nice shot to show the lock but i think it's more of a snapshot rather than you know if you were going to try to sell it and actually showing it there's a few wee things where i would have changed so that's that one so hope you you get something from it next shot here hold on lovely lovely happy photograph here i like it this time now and uh, okay now uh, keith sent this photograph over here and i'm actually smiling as i'm seeing it i think it's a lovely photograph uh you've captured a moment there um i i contacted keith after he sent him over i didn't give him any critique whatsoever i didn't say it, but what i didn't ask was could he send me over the original um the original photograph tweaked and all but just the original format i wanted to see how much was cropped what was on the right hand side or the left hand side which he has done but looking at the photograph here in fact what i will do is um the composition i think once again the crop on it it's just it's a strange size of crop uh, because you know you can clearly see that it's probably too much space on this side here the horizon line is slightly off so you can tweak it and what I would show you there, Keith, um, I'm not too sure if you've got uh, light room or anything like that, but um, this is one just it's changed it slightly with the, um, you know, the light and settings and a wee bit of uh, shadows and the whites and blacks. Only very lightly, but you can really tweak a thing. But I did change, I changed the, uh, when it came to cropping it, I changed it uh, to uh, one on one. So in other words, you have a clear square aspect of it, you can position it. I change the horizon line just slightly and it's not that much it's really it's not but i do think it's a strange shape visually that there's it's it's not a a common ratio the way you've cropped it there so i would have been careful so let's look at the original here and obviously you've tweaked it i think that's instantly better because you've, you've included more of this space here um compared to the other one okay uh, too much space here not enough there but whenever you go over to the original I like that I like that actually a bit of space now once again horizon is running off I would say that you've captured something that you know it's it's one of these ones you would want to know what what the joke was what the fun was you've got a lovely lady here um, great style great class about her you can actually see the the bee the bonnet the, the floral on the probably a purse or maybe in a phone case who knows but uh, just a great style about her uh, really happy i don't know what the joke was but you've captured a moment and i don't know if it was a grab shot uh, she went into a fit of laughter and you've went ahead and took that photograph i think you've captured perfect because it's making me smile now the negative aspect of it is such a thing as a negative aspect of it i would have liked to probably seen what would be slightly below here in other words dropped it down slightly and you would incorporate it to the bottom of the elbows and just to see so in other words i think it's a crop a wee bit too much not cropped when it came to photograph and the conversation you could have possibly included um you know more at the bottom there and i do think it would have made a big difference now obviously i've tweaked the uh, the, the color slightly on that one and i've added a wee white border around it and i think it does you know instantly lift the photograph and it sort of compensates for you know the compensation uh, comp compensation i think you're claiming against something um compensation and i think that white frame does sort of frames it better um then i just go over then the like of that as i say i have changed the horizon and i just give it a wee bit of a light tweak um with the colors and the shadows and a setup like that but a lovely photograph a happy photograph and it's uh it's one that you guys um I'm not too sure if that's your lady or not, but it's, it's a lovely, lovely photograph. And, uh, you know, I think it's a winner. But compens uh, compensation, compensation. Let's see, Sean, get yourself together here, brother. Um, your compensation. I would have actually liked to maybe seen slightly below her arm there. And I think that would have made that shot. Um, eyes being opened or closed. I think it's a natural, happy photograph. Um, I think the eyes close adds to it so winner as far as i'm concerned i like that really like it now your last photograph keith is um let me get this down here i think that's a lovely photograph i think you were saying that that's actually in scotland um somewhere um i think it's a lovely photograph and as it stands 
it would be what you would probably see in the like of the wee touristy magazines in the local area, places to visit. Um, lighting is fine. You've took a nice light reading there. Um, conversation. I, I'm wondering what was on this side of the frame. I, I think that if it was more of that frame, I don't know if you could have seen more of the coastline. Maybe this bank here was, was leading round. Maybe it was a fancy noise in my imagination trying to create something here. But I do think that it's possibly... Um, I know you've got the 15 uh, to 140 lens on, so I'm not too sure if you've zoomed in on that one. At the taking stage, rather than shooting it on the wide, I think you probably have zoomed in. I'm not too sure. But I would have liked to see much more down this side here because, you know, that head there would probably go right across. You'd have seen the coast coming on up this side, maybe the beach. Then again, there might have been an old uh, burnt out car or something here. So you, you took a photograph the way you took it. I really like this shot, I have to say. I do think the horizon is running off slightly. And let's have a look here. You see, and I'm talking slightly. It really would be only slightly. Uh, there's not much, and I think it probably could even go an RV tiny bit there. I'm eyeballing this here, so at the end of the day, it's um, it's going to give you an idea. You could do this yourself, Keith. So, so basically, I'd be looking at that, and I'd be going. The next thing I'd be looking at is this. Um, the cloud up here, it looks as if there's like a wee bit of a rain cloud coming in, so we'd possibly have tweaked that just slightly. Let me see, just bring it over slightly. And I'm only just going to do this rough, uh, Keith, you can actually have a wee go yourself. Let me see, bring the shadows up. And I just want to um, punch a wee bit of contrast up there. And nothing too bad. If you also look up in this corner here, I don't know if that's uh, by that you've actually done at the time of your processing, or is it, obviously you've got the sunlight, and it's coming down obviously from this direction here. Probably actually, if you look at the line there, funny enough, it'll probably be coming down roughly in that direction, yeah. So you, you probably have the sunlight coming down that. Now I'm not too sure if you've been covering the lens with anything there, or is that a lens cover? or what, or, but it looks as if there has been a wee bit of vine acting over there, so it'll probably hit that a wee bit there, and uh, let me see, whoop, that's a wee bit too much. I don't can see. Not too bad. But all in all, I think you've done, you've done a very good job with it. That photograph in itself could sell. I would probably have included more space at the top here, Keith, um, pull back, include more space, pull this up here. I would have included more space here and obviously to see what there are for several reasons because um, although the eyes wandering around there, uh, I do think when it comes to publication that you could have left a wee bit more space on this side. I know you may not have any interest in publication but I am a great believer it's better looking at it than looking for it. When you're coming to take a photograph I do think you should be thinking uh, photos on a wall, photos in a book, photos in a magazine and the reason that is is because you don't know what's around the corner. There's no use you going out and taking photographs and maybe at a later date um, you could actually have turned this around into passive income on the stock photography. So I would have incorporated more space in this side here. I wanted to find out what's around the corner. Uh, a wee bit more space, a bit of skyline up the top there. But all in all, I think it works. I think you'd have no problem selling this photograph as is. I think it's a lovely shot. So you go. Um, is there anything else I could think of? Have we look and see if there's any difference, really? And as I say, I haven't changed it that much. If you just look at the two of them there, it's basically, you know, I think you've done a very good job with it. Um, I would have just probably brightened up uh, the, the clouds a bit. Okay. Uh, but in reality, uh, you've got before and after. But I think it's a nice shot. A wee bit more space at the top, so maybe shot it on your way to satin. Um, if that is your way to satin, then I'd probably have walked back slightly. You've, you've got this space here on the, the left-hand side, I believe perfect. A bit more space up the top, and try to include it more space in the right-hand side. As I say, just in case you were to sell it, it means then the magazine or the advertisers could actually put some copy down this uh, right hand side, visit wherever it is, Cornwall, visit obviously Scotland, the Cornwall, the opposite end of the country. 
but visit such and such a place and they can put the copy written down on that side of the photograph so you go brother listen thank you very much for um sharing these photographs um you're my first uh one of these as i say this one you're showing off the crystal clear water but i do think this top of this mountain maybe have dropped on your knees getting a wee bit closer into the water if you even try and have the camera maybe about six eight inches above the water level and incorporating it you'd have got more in there i'm not too sure what this is um i've certainly brushed this airbrush this um boy out and i would have airbrushed this out and I, if you'd included the top of that mountain a wee bit more, possibly see what it'd be looking like in black and white because you've got a great dramatic sky there. You could have messed about with the levels and that would have come up um, well. Go over to uh, your lady there. If it is your lady, of course. Um, she's a happy, um, lovely, happy photograph. I do like it. Um, I would have said probably tweaked the colours a wee bit more, made a wee bit more punchy, uh, the horizon level check that you could tweak that um just bring it up slightly i'm only nitpicking i would have also incorporated the bottom a wee bit more of a space there and but if it's a grab shot a grab shot in the context you've seen the moment you, you've captured you've kind of still smiling looking at the photograph so i think it's a winner uh, i would have as i said just tweak the color slightly a wee bit more punchy and of course put a wee bit of a white frame around it just to bring that all in and I think it works a uh, wee bit better. But all in all, brother, um, very good. And as you know the story of that, bit more space at the top. Bit more space at the top. Maybe if included more on the right-hand side to see what this, uh, the head would have went right on, right round, following that. The horizon slightly. I, I like the, uh, the exposure. I think you've done really well. And uh, you were telling me, I think you were shooting a manual also. Well done, brother you've nailed it you know anything i just pointed out in this here really is nitpicking but that's it keith thank you very much uh, for sending the photographs as i say tell you if you need any clarification on it please just give me a shout or man and uh we'll have a wee wee chit chat going guys listen thanks very much for watching as i say leave your comments down below and if you're going to be leaving comments and feedback about photographs you know make them constructive um offer your advice and your your, your views on it uh, but keep it keep it uh, level headed and clear. Do you know what I mean? Because we're all just individuals, and we're all just taking photographs. You agree with me? Disagree with me? It really doesn't matter as such, as far as I'm concerned. But when it comes to other people's photographs, remember they are their photographs. They're not yours, and you may not take photographs the way somebody else will. But that same person may not take photographs the way you or I would. So, guys, listen. If you have any photographs, any you know portfolios, as I say, please drop me a message below. Or you can send the photographs or links to where you want me to have a look at them to info at ramblesmycamera.com. I've already got, I think it's north three different photographers I'm looking at. I'm going to be critiquing their photographs now. And they'll be putting them up over in the coming weeks. Uh, somebody did suggest, and sorry, I forgot the name completely, um, about putting on a Facebook, sorry, not a Facebook page, a Flickr page where people could drop their photographs into it and could have a look. That's a possibility. So watch for an update. Guys, thanks again uh, for watching. Keith Jones, thank you so much, brother. Um, wishing you every success um, with your new camera and the lenses. And the uh, happy days are here again. Just keep taking them photographs. I know that we're all students of photography. It doesn't matter how long we're at it. We're all constantly learning. We'll learn from each other on this journey. Guys, send us love from Ireland. And thanks again for watching.